of the biggest ways Rwanda plans to meet its development goals is through telecommunications. And already global players are establishing themselves here. We, we just got uh, a, third a third operator that came on board, uh, Tigo. Uh, and um, they, they're joining uh, Rondatel and uh, MTN that were already on board. Rondatel just has just been bought uh, for about 100 million by Lab Green, and we have Tigo that bought a license for 60 million. So ICT and the telecom business has been a, a major foreign um, source for foreign direct investments, and uh, we've just opened uh, an office for the Korea Telecom uh, company. They're looking at uh, supporting some of the projects that we are doing. Uh, essentially, right now, we are deploying major infrastructure. We're building a backbone that is going to reach the entire country. And uh, in each district, we're going to be connecting schools, hospitals, four kilometers around the district center. So this is a very exciting and complex project, but we, have, uh, we are happy to have partners like Korea Telecom supporting them. Along with adequate bandwidth, it's also been a challenge for Rwandan companies to overcome perceptions about the country's ICT skills and capacity. But it's all about offering competitive services and products. The Cyber 3 d is one of the few companies in the world able to turn 2D drawings into 3D models for engineering projects, and now has clients from the US, Europe and India. As an outsourcing company, one of the biggest challenges is uh, international marketing. You know we are located somewhere in Africa, and many international companies don't know us. So international marketing is a huge challenge and uh, the reputation and the brand is not yet created and recognized. Another biggest challenge is the, the bandwidth. Because we receive a lot of drawings, when we finish the projects, uh, we need to return them online. It can take several hours. And usually international clients, they are not very patient. They want them to be returned as quickly as possible. But of course, uh, as, para, as far as the, the internet, the bandwidth is concerned, I'm sure the government is working on it also. Many analysts say the key to Rwanda's growth lies in the region. A member of Comesa and the East African community means businesses have access to a consumer market of over 155 million people. Nakimat, East Africa's biggest retail chain, affirmed the thriving consumer market here in Rwanda, opening a 24-hour retail store in the heart of Kigali. From a business perspective, we are looking as Nakumat to move into the region, and a thousand kilometer journey begins with uh, a single step, so we moved out, and Kigali was ready to happen. Uh, I mean, they have perfect security, uh, we don't have to worry so much about cleanliness. I think it's the most cleanest city that I have been to. Uh, they're very orderly. It's amazing. Actually, when you look at our, 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 our recent concept of shopping for 24 hours, they said it couldn't be done in Kigali. Uh, it's happening, really, and uh, I'm having an average of almost over 500 shoppers, and that's the only ones that I'm able to capture on the tills happening in Kigali in the past six months.